Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to review all of the inequality stuff that you learned in grade 9. Well, if you're an Alberta student, which my students are. Um, if you're looking, looking at this video from outside of Alberta, well welcome to the show. Um, anyway, so we're going to go through what inequalities mean and how to graph them on number lines and how to do simple 1, 2, and 3 step algebra with inequalities, which is basically the same as, as equations with, you know, a couple little wrinkles that we'll review as we go through. So this first one here, we see that uh, x is greater than negative 2 or negative 2 is less than x. And so this is what I learned when I was in middle school or I don't know, whenever you learn inequalities, is that the alligator wants to eat the bigger number. So if you imagine that this is like an alligator argh, with his big open mouth argh, and sharp teeth, okay, because I've got young kids, I know the importance of drawing sharp teeth. Okay, so there's the sharp teeth. So that's the alligator. The alligator wants to eat the bigger number. Would, would the alligator want to eat two animals, or would the alligator want to eat five animals? The alligator is going to want to eat five animals because the alligator is hungry, right? So the bigger number goes on the, the mouth side of the inequality. If that helps you, that's great. Um, and if it doesn't help you, if you already know this, then don't worry about it. Um, so what this means is that x is going to be greater than negative 2, but you'll notice there's no equal sign at negative 2. So that means that the al that that x cannot actually be negative 2. But x can be 5, right? Because there's an equal sign there. So x can actually be equal to 5. And by the way, when you're doing your number line, it's always a good idea to throw a 0 in the middle um, to make sure you keep track of what's on your negative side and what's on your positive side. So the big idea for this is how do you tell the difference between exactly equal to and greater than or must be greater than? Well, if you don't want to include a point, you put a hollow circle. And if you want to include a point, you put a shaded circle. And then you just connect the two. And so this shows that we've got the region between negative 2 and positive 5. And that negative 2 being hollow means it's not included, right? And this solid point means that it is included. All right, so next one. What if, what if your interval is actually split into two pieces? This is something that's actually new this year, but it's not too scary. What you're going to do is you're going to draw your negative line. Zero in the middle. I've got negative 7, and I've got positive 7. Now, x can be less than or equal to negative 7, which means we are going to need to put a solid point here because it can be equal to, and less than means we need to go to the left. And you'll notice I put an arrowhead on the end of this one because it keeps going forever, right? X could be negative a billion, it's fine. Negative a billion is less than negative 7. On this side, we're going to do a hollow point and then go to the right because X has to be greater than 7, but it can't actually be 7 itself. So that's why we're going to have a hollow point there. Okay, so that's how you show these things on a number line. Now let's go through algebra. Uh, algebra, you basically do the exact same way as usual. We're trying to solve for X here, so our first step is going to be subtract 5. So we're going to get that 3x is greater than or equal to negative 9. And then we're going to divide by our coefficient. And so we get x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 3. And if you want, you could throw that on a number line. I'm not going to um, review that. But if you wanted to, you could number line that. Now this next one here is a little bit trickier because of the negative sign in front of this x here. So I'll show you two ways to do it. One way to do it would be to take away your 2x, take away your 2x, right? Take away your 4, take away your 4, right? So you're bringing all your variables to the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, you've got negative 5x is greater than, and then on your right-hand side, you've got negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11. But here's the trick. Here's the, the, the mistake that a lot of students make. When you divide by a negative, do you guys remember what you have to do? When you divide by a negative, what you need to do is you need to flip your inequality from a greater than to a less than. And so this means that x is less than, a negative over negative is positive, 11 fifths. And uh, in high school math, we usually just want to keep the fractions. We'll leave that as 11 fifths. But just as a quick review, if, if you don't remember why this is, let's say you have um, negative 3. Negative 3 we know is greater than negative 7, right? Because on a number line, negative 7 is here, negative 3 is here, and so since you're further to the right, it's greater than. So this one is greater than this one. Now if we just like multiply by negative 2, multiply by negative 2, we get um, 6 
greater than a seven times negative two is 14. Is six greater than 14? No, no, it's definitely not. It is not greater than 14. That's incorrect. So when you multiply by or divide, when you multiply or divide by a negative sign, you need to flip your inequality. Okay, hopefully you remember that. Last example. Um, we'll just throw some brackets in here, because why not? We'll distribute across uh, our brackets here. So we have negative 2x plus 14 plus 3 is less than 3x plus 2. Now I'll show you the other way you could have done this. So when we, by bringing it over this last question, by bringing it over to the left-hand side, we've got a negative sign in front. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my variables over to the right-hand side and bring my constants over to the left because that's the side that will make my x positive. So now I've got a positive 5x on my right-hand side. So I don't need to worry about multiplying or dividing by negatives because it's just not going to be an issue. And then this side is going to be 15. And now we can just divide by 5, divide by 5 and we get three is less than x, or you can rearrange that, just make sure the alligator's still eating the bigger thing, x greater than three. And there you go, that's grade nine inequalities in like, I don't know, 12 minutes or something. Good luck with your practice.